Hey, what's up guys? I'm BTC. I got a cool tip for you today. Hopefully it will help you become a better Overwatch player. Today's tip is all about animation canceling. So if you don't know what that is, animation canceling is when you perform an ability and then before it completes, you interrupt it by performing another ability. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. During the beta, they changed it so that your weapon will actually reload before the animation is completely done. Let me demonstrate real quick. So I'm gonna shoot a little bit. Watch the numbers on the bottom right. You're gonna notice that the gun will refill to 2525 before the animation is completely done. So here's reload. All right, about halfway through, the weapon was already reloaded. So what this allows you to do is you can animation cancel your reload into something else. So I can start sprinting. I can get away while, you know, I can reload and then cut the animation short and sprint away if I need to. Or you can reload, drop a biotic field, and then start shooting again. You don't save like a tremendous amount of time, but you are shaving like quarter of a second, half in a second off of what you're doing in the middle of combat. And this can be beneficial. Now, it does take practice. You kind of got to get used to the time that it takes to actually reload so that you can do that. Because the problem is, if you don't do it properly, your gun won't actually reload. So let me show you this. Ready? We're going to reload. But see, I started to sprint before the halfway mark, before the weapon was actually reloaded. So I animation canceled too early. One of the characters that benefits the most from this animation canceling is Reaper. And that's because of the type of character Reaper is. In order for him to do the most damage, he needs to be up close and personal with the enemy. If I try to shoot this training bot from a distance, it does very little damage. However, if I'm pretty close, it does a lot of damage. Now, one of the added benefits of being close to the enemy is that you can also melee them. And if you didn't know, hitting your enemy with a melee attack does 50 damage. And the area of effect in front of you that the melee strike hits is actually pretty big. It's probably a lot larger than you think. So let me see if I can show you here. So like, You've I wasn't even aiming at the bot on the left. And yet I was still able to hit it with a melee because the area in front of me is so large that the melee strike will hit. So what does this mean? Well, when you're playing as Reaper, you can animation cancel your reload into a melee attack and then immediately start firing again with zero downtime. So let me show you how that works. As a side note, even though Reaper's actual reload happens extremely fast, it's almost instant, it is possible to melee too quickly and end up not reloading your weapon. So just be careful on that. So as you can see with Reaper, there is no difference in recovery time between allowing the animation to complete or animation canceling into a melee attack. The difference being is the melee attack does an extra 50 damage, which is huge. So, I hope this tip helped you. Try it out with different characters. Maybe you'll find something awesome that will work out for you. As always, thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and subscribe if you're new. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Die.